Well, Gillette is here with a look at the damage path of the storm. Kyle, what's going on? Yeah, Colette, well, the Weather Service has confirmed this as being an EF2 tornado, so that's uh, between 0 and 5 is that scale. So we're on the lower end of the scale overall, but for this to come in the middle of the night while well, a lot of folks are sleeping, it was certainly a dangerous event, and we did see a lot of damage from this. This is a look at the damage path. We'll actually start down here at the Bicentennial Park where the tornado first touched down. This is a pavilion that was completely wiped away here. You see some debris also scattered back there along that riverbed. Now, uh, further up the path, just outside of the park here in Westminster Park, uh, what we see here is that we've got some pretty interesting video. This is actually from a doorbell camera. A lot of wind here and there's some uh, things flying down the road as the tornado actually passed right by this house. And what it eventually caused was a lot of debris to be thrown. The power eventually goes out, trash cans being launched around. So this is a, a very dangerous both time of the night for this tornado to move through and also some residential areas. Here at the industrial park, we can see uh, we have a lot of damage to some of the buildings here. We've got roofs collapsed. We've got some walls that have collapsed and also several semi trailers that were tipped over further into uh, the path here. Indian Hill in this neighborhood. Lots of downed trees falling on people's houses. A lot of damage here. Thankfully, most of these houses just received minor damage and we weren't looking at total uh, totally collapsed houses. This tornado eventually continued off to the hills of King Point and then past this. The tornado eventually ended after it went through uh, Water's Edge, Gemstone Valley and Orchard Valley. Both of those are all three of those areas similarly seeing some of that damage to trees and minor damage to houses.